Welcome to News USA Today, where we bring you the latest in trending news about America. If you are new to our channel, please hit the subscription button and turn on the bell icon to get our latest updates. It was a tough one winter for the whole world. But they probably suffered the most United States and the rest of the world with them. From the morning of November 9th, the day after the election, what many believed to be impossible was certain. Donald Trump, a racist orange with small hands, becomes the 45th President of the United States of America. Meanwhile, the day of the inauguration has already passed and we can't shake the feeling that something is missing. When I opened YouTube in my browser yesterday to listen to some music, the scales fell from my eyes. Trump vs. Truth, last week tonight, was the title of the video that was recommended to me on my homepage. Thank you YouTube. For the past two months it's been the British sarcasm and super funny jokes from John Oliver, which I had missed in the biggest political debates. But now he's back and catching up on what he missed. As in every show so far, Oliver starts with the events of the last few days before turning to his main story, the concept of reality. Because a man like Donald Trump, who repeatedly makes it clear through his statements that he does not consider reality to be important, facts must be held under one's nose. After all, Trump exaggerates every opportunity, throws around random numbers and has been doing everything possible for months to avoid being taken seriously. In a statement after his swearing-in, he claimed the sun was shining during his speech, even though the whole world could see it was raining. If a president lies about even such small things, can he be trusted at all? In the 20-minute video, Oliver repeatedly addresses moments in which Trump turns out to be a liar or simply ignorant. In a debate at the beginning of the election campaign, the current president was unable to name the three components of the so-called nuclear triad. In addition, Oliver establishes a connection between certain media and Trump here that cannot be denied. As an illustration of the quality of these media sources, he shows a commercial for catheters that is regularly played on these channels. But we never expected what awaits us at the end of the show. In the last five minutes of the show, John Oliver once again shows why we love him so much. The commercial with the old cowboy seems to have done it to him, because that's exactly what he chose to bring the most important facts of our reality closer to the president. The commercial starts out exactly like the original, but after a few seconds, the focus is no longer on catheters, but on the components of the nuclear triad. Oliver announces this spot, like many others, to be played again and again in the mornings on said stations. And that's until he stopped. While other comedians only crack jokes and complain about the situation, John Oliver lends a hand and at least tries to change something. Thank you for watching. Smash that like button. Leave a comment if you enjoyed watching and share the video on your social media. Please follow and subscribe to News USA today and hit that notification icon.